Namaste my dear children. I am Lalitha Ambika. How are you? Fine, isn't it? Good. Today we are going to engage an informative and interesting chapter from the 6th standard science. Food, where does it come from? Can you see the picture? You can see different food items, isn't it? Fruits, vegetables, milk, meat, egg, so many types of fruits, so many types of fruit salad, isn't it? So, from this, you can understand that food is very yummy. May I ask one question? If your mom is giving you the all day idli and samba, will you like it? No, isn't it? So, variety of food makes Fun and healthy makes fun and healthy. What do you mean by fun and healthy? Like if you are eating pizza all the time, okay, it will be good for you, not for your health, isn't it? So the food contains all nutrition. So that's why I'm saying variety of foods gives healthy. And one more thing, we know that this uh, salad and the sprouted seeds are good for our health. But if we eat the sprouted seeds and salad each and every time, is it give you fun? No, isn't it? So the food must be fun as well as healthy, isn't it? So today we are going to study the importance of food and the topics related to the food. Where does it come from? So students, next, we know that for making boiled rice, we need two raw materials. What are they? Just water and the raw rice, isn't it? But what about sambar and vegetable curry? We need more materials to make that food items. So that material used to make a food item is called as ingredients. It's called as ingredients. Okay, so ingredients means it is of two types. That is, we can make, not two types, we can make one item with few ingredients and the other food items with many ingredients. So according to that, we can say that, okay, in sampar, vegetable curry, chicken curry, we are using so many types of ingredients. For example, salt, water, chili powder, coriander powder, tomato, so many types of vegetables. In the place of chicken curry, we are using chicken, isn't it? But what about this boiled rice or just a uh, salad? We are all, all, we are using some, some ingredients. It is few ingredients, isn't it? So, in this chapter, it is really specifying that the components or the materials which is used to prepare a food item or a food dish is called ingredients. So students, we studied about the ingredients. Where does ingredients coming from? Do you know that? Yeah, I will tell you. Just take an example. Rice wheat. Where it is coming from? From plants. Yes, very good. And what about meat, milk? From animals. So the place where we are getting this product is called the sources of food. What we say? Sources of food. So we can divide the sources of food as two. Plant sources that is from plants and from animals. That is sources of food is divided into two types. Plants and animals. You can see the examples also. In plants, we can see that is rice, wheat, that are included in grains. Pulses, so many types of gram, it includes this in cereals, isn't it? Next, nuts is the, so these are all included in the plant products. And what about animal products? Milk, egg, meat, all are included in the animal products, isn't it? So we can say that all the food products, either we are getting from plant or from the animals. There are some other sources also is there. But in this class, in the sixth standard, we are mainly dealing about these two types of sources, plant sources and animal sources. You can give so many examples regarding these plant sources and animal sources. For example, sugar cane, then fruits, different types of fruits, different types of seeds, 
isn't it? So these are all included in your food and you all know that these all items contain some kind of nutrients, isn't it? You know that vitamin, fats, proteins, carbohydrates, minerals, water and roughage, are, these are the main types of nutrients. So understood? So students, next we are going to study the important portion of this chapter. Edible parts. What do you mean by edible? The parts which we can use or which we can prepare food is called the edible parts. Okay, so in this slide you can see that the rice, wheat, maize are examples for the seeds. Next one is coriander leaf, spinach, mint, that's all examples for the leaf. So that leaf parts we can use, that is an edible part. Clear? So in the first one, the seed, the rice, maize, ragi, everything we can use. We can use it as an edible part. That is, we can use it for the food items. Next, what it is? That is fruit, tomato, brinchal, pumpkin, orange, all included in the fruit, isn't it? So, these are also edible parts. Yes, next, that is tarni, beetroot, carrot, belongs to the root part. Isn't it? Next one is the onion that is modified stem and that is the bulb part. Next one is the modified stem that is tuber part that is the potato. And the last one flower that is cauliflower, broccoli. These are all examples. So these all parts are edible. We can use it in the food items. In the seeds also you can see in your text the germination part. What is the step for the germination? Just take the whole mook and uh, soak it in water for a whole day and after that you can drain the water, keep it there and just wrap it with a wet cloth, wet cotton cloth. You can see a small white structure that is after 6 hours or 8 hours. So that structure that is called the sprouted one and we call it as sprouted seeds. Is it clear? So this is a germination. We can see it as the germinations of seed. So in this part, this is very important. That is the edible parts. These are all parts we can use. Yes. Next students, classification of animals. You can see in the slide that is herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. That you all studied in your lower primary classes. Isn't it? What do you mean by herbivores? Herbivores. The animals which eat plants and plant products are called herbivores. For example, cow, goat, buffalo, these are all using the plant and plant products, isn't it? And the next type, carnivores. The animals which eat other animals of, or flesh of other animals are called the carnivores. Lion, tiger, these all you can include in carnivores. Next one is the omnivores. The animals which eat both plants and animals are called the omnivores. Got it? For example, human beings, fox, these all belongs to omnivores. These are the classification of animals according to their food habit. According to their food habit. Is it clear for you students? So, the main thing you have to understand is that some of us or among us so many students are not getting sufficient nutritious food. So, as a citizen of Bharat, we are responsible in producing good food, nutritious food and the food to every child. This must be a motto for all students. I think this chapter is clear for you. Thank you and have a nice day.